Hello, you guys. This is going to be the weekly love energy reading for June the 19th through the 25th, I believe, 2017. So I'm just going to tune into the energy for this week, this coming week's energy when it comes to love, partnerships, and relationships. So this is not only exclusive to romantic relationships. Obviously, this could be any relationship to someone else, matters of the heart. So I'm going to ask Spirit for six cards. Divine Spirit, six cards. I need six cards. I can stop shuffling. All right, so you have two majors, three majors. some heart issues going on or some heart matters rather with the choose your battles wisely card at the bottom of the deck all right so the overall energy for this week is the flow card which is like the wheel of fortune um with the flow card it's a major arcana so spirit is advising and encouraging us to go with the flow this week when it comes to our love situations that they're all under divine order okay Things are shifting and it's like things are moving in a, in a different direction, okay? In a new, it's like a new cycle is coming and you just need to surrender pretty much is the energy I'm getting. Surrender with the flow of how things are going. This, this here looks like a compass. So I really feel like you're being divinely led by your heart. So as long as you're following any, like, follow your emotions not so much like imbalanced emotions of fear or doubt you know walk through all of that push through it i'm getting like if you're getting a, a like a call or a pull or a push to do something go a certain direction spirit's telling you to follow that because you're being divinely led here so just flow with it trust it also, I'm getting that your higher self is on board with all of this and it's guiding you so you can't do any wrong with this, okay? Just surrender and go with the flow with this energy. So where you stand with this energy this week is you have the lead card, which is like the emperor. So you're being guided to take the wisdom that you have within you and, and push through that. Because I see here you have your third eye chakra and your this is your challenge position. This is your obstacle that you need to overcome. But this scroll here is like he has all of this wise information. The scroll even has the purple around it, which makes me think of the, sh the third eye chakra. So you got the messages. If you're seeing things from your higher self, you, you're in a position where you can lead things. Yes, spirit wants you to follow and surrender, but in the same since your higher self is guiding you, your inner wisdom is leading you and guiding you. So you're not just walking down here. You're not just lost. You have uh, you have guidance with you. There's like two parts of him. I feel like this is your physical body and this is your higher self. You got that scroll. Take what you learn and go with it. Okay. I'm going to pull clarifiers on some of these. Because um, I feel like it's kind of surface scratching right now. So as far as where someone else is standing with you, anyone that you may be inquiring about or maybe a key person that you're dealing with this week is in relation to you. They have 13 of release. So this person, I'm just hearing spirit telling you don't take it personal for some reason. Don't take this person, like whatever they're dealing with, don't take it personal because it's like they're... They're shedding some skin. They have a lot of things that are, you know, false comfort to them. It's some, you know, things that are keeping them in balance or ungrounded. And they're starting to shed those things. They're starting to let go of things that are not serving them. They are like, it's an awakening in a sense. It's not so much like they are totally spiritually awakened. And it's not that they are not up to par or they're not as good as you it's just they're not on the same level consciously as you and they're starting to get some sort of spark at least they're they're starting to follow their intuition more and it's they're 
they're being called to release some of that old skin and I feel like that's what they're doing so they could be very irritable at this time so don't take it personal if this person is not responding to you in the way that you would like or if they snap at you or if they say certain things or if they're just kind of being aloof or isolated it has nothing to do with you spirit just wants you to know that it has nothing to do with you okay so this is like the death card they're definitely going through some sort of spiritual transformation and just allow it to happen it's almost like the dark night of the soul just let them go through this process as far as the challenge you have the third eye chakra so a lot of you are not trusting in your intuition you're not listening to spirit it's like you're being guided you're being led your higher self is walking with you your crown chakra is on point so you're getting the messages but it's just like you've got your intuition here and things are in your hands in a sense because you're surrendering you're flowing with spirit but i feel like most of the surrendering is not trying to control what you already know like don't try to if spirit's giving you a message and you know what you got to do and you need to do it don't try to control it and try to you know throw it out you know out the guard or throw it in the garbage or put it to the side or oppose it or fight against it just follow through with it okay walk the path okay but you need to trust in your intuition and spirit's telling you that it's safe to trust in your intuition this week the energy that's supporting you is five of change your focus which is like the five of cups so you're being guided to shift out of that woe is me energy, feeling helpless and feeling sorry for yourself, feeling unworthy, being ungrateful, focusing on the past and what hasn't worked and what didn't work, trying not to listen to spirits messages because there's birds here and it's like she's looking in the other direction. It's almost like she doesn't even want to hear what the birds have to say. But Spirit's giving you a message and you need to take heed. And I feel like they've been giving you multiple messages, maybe the same message over and over again. Could be different ways. You could hear it in your mind. You could feel it. You could see a synchronicity. Someone might say something along the same lines. So it's like you've been getting these messages. But Spirit's telling you that you need to get out of that, that feeling hopeless, feeling sorry for yourself, angry at the world, um, worried about what has not worked in fear and doubt and release those emotions they're not serving you so they're supporting you with release purging almost i feel the energy that's working underneath the surface is eight of moving on walking away from what no longer serves you you're being guided and i feel like that's what some of this resistance is because it's like the tower card even though it's not here in the spread I feel the tower energy because there's something that's shifting. The cycle is changing. You're being guided to surrender, but you need to take the God, you need to take the leadership and do what spirit's telling you to do. Just do it. And I feel like a lot of you are getting the guidance that you need to let go of things that don't serve you, whether that be people, whether that be a lifestyle, whatever it is something about you such say like your depressing energy your um, insecurity your fears okay stepping out of your comfort zones not trusting and believing in yourself you're going to be moving away from that and some of you are resisting it because you know good and well that it's time to surrender and it's like i don't want to do that i want to hold on to this or that because this is all I know. I don't deserve anything else. I don't deserve anything better. Something better. Someone better. I don't deserve what I want. What I truly want. I'd rather hold on to what's, you know, tired and, and so-called safe. The Choose Your Battles card is, this is like the Seven of Wands. So you're resisting. This is like the shadow card that came out at the bottom. You are totally resisting. Spirit is like so freaking funny because you got the rebuild card, which is like the tower. What did I say? There's tower energy up in here. You're totally resisting. And like you're looking at everything as it's up against you, but spirit is telling you like you can't run because I feel like this is your higher intellect. This is your intuition. This is your heart. And this is your your energy trying to it's like 
you can't ignore what's going on inside of you. You know what's true. You know what's real. But it's like you're trying to fight this off. And it's like this big, massive energy, like, and just hitting, like, standing right in front of you. Like, you can't ignore this. You can't deny this. You can't walk past this. But you're just like, you're willing to fight. Like, no, fuck that. Excuse my language. Like, I hear what you're saying, but that's not what's going on. I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not letting go of this person. I'm not letting go of this lifestyle. I'm going to party it until I die. I'm going to, you know, YOLO. I only live once. I'm going to drink. I'm going to smoke i'm gonna do this i'm gonna have sex with this person i'm gonna be angry and mad at the world because i got cheated on in the past or this person told me i was fat or this person i'm gonna hold on to this because i have a right to even though your higher self is telling you it's time to let all of that shit go it doesn't serve you and with the number seven here with the seven of wands this is divinely of your highest good and divine is sending you these messages. So no matter how big you think you are, like you're going to be able to fight this, it's going to come crashing down on you because it's time to rebuild yourself. It's time. So rather than trying to um, control the energy, try to run from it, try to fight against it, follow your guidance, do what you need to do, step forth, Listen to your intuition and let it go because spirit is bringing in something and so much, much more better things than you can imagine for yourself because your self-worth tells you that you deserve to live a shitty life. You deserve to hold on to this or that, to be mad at yourself, to be mad at this person, to be abused by this person, to settle in relationships that don't serve you, to settle in friendships where people are not of your highest good. They might not even care less if something happened to you next week. Like, oh, well, that's sad. You know, a person that's cheating on you, a person that just won't give you the freaking time of day, a job that's not paying you worth anything than what you're worth. It's time to move on. It's time to rebuild. Spirit is working for you, working for you. This is not anything against you. And it's hard to let go of what's new, but you've got to release it. And if you notice with the tower, it's number 16, and that equals seven as well. Spirit's working for you. That's all they want you to know. So I'm going to pull an advice card from the um, Angel Gods and Goddess deck. No, baby. All right, let's see. The Angel's messages. What is the advice card? If you're gonna join, you need to sit down. Come on. <laughs> Come here. All right. I'm sorry. I have to work around her because she's like, I know, Mama. I know. Healing family issues. And it's not just family issues. It's other things that don't serve you. It's time to heal it and release it and let it go. For some of you, it is in relations to a family member. Could really be your father. Could be a father figure. So, you know, grandfather, stepdad, uncles, a big brother, um, you know, whoever, a teacher, something. And a lot of you have have these issues with your father that are affecting your self-worth or these men that maybe your first love was your father or it could be your actual first love for some of you you know if this is a, a straight male it could be that he's affected your love life in the way that you see women um you know you don't trust them or you feel like they deserve to be treated a certain way or you're not worthy of true love because your father did your mother wrong or it's you know it's just a lot of psychological issues that children deal with and they blame themselves early in age and and they don't really understand that it's not their fault okay and it's also other things that like i said from childhood you could have been bullied you could have been someone that bullied other people you know there's so many things that you have 
probably gone through in your lifetime and you don't even know how they've affected you because you were so young. But it's time to let go of all of that. You can't blame yourself. You can't blame others. It happens. The best thing you can do is see the, the divine order in it and see how it made you stronger rather than how it makes you weak. Because we have two choices in life. We can either dwell in a low vibration or a high vibration. Because if we try to do the both, do the same, I'm going to dwell in some of it I'm going to be low vibrational and some of it I'm going to be high vibrational. You're going to find an imbalance. So it's better to find where you want to be. But honor how you feel. Don't deny the fact that this person has hurt you or you hurt someone else. Own up to it, but see it for what it is and forgive yourself and forgive that person. Okay, so that's the message, you guys. I hope that this resonates and that it helps you. Pretty straightforward message. I don't mind giving messages like that because it's better to get the real than, you know, the cotton candy because it will dissolve and it won't taste good later on and it won't be good for you. So might as well give it to you straight. Much love to you guys until next week.